Those guys with experience in his third year missing that time. I Look talked to a number of people today, like back in the day, guys would play their third year. Well, and Boston has not had a good look inside the restricted area. Shayak, who began his career in the ACC, finished it. Here comes Shea. Mario Shayak puts the ball on the floor. He throws it up. And a foul. A blocking foul on Landale. For my, my defense, uh, offensive player that is shorter than you. Yeah. And a three there for Shayak for Philly. Mario Shayak. He goes up, scoops it, gets it to go. Mm. Very nice. Or, he's three or four from the field. Certainly his impact being felt here in the second quarter. And then picks up an offensive foul there too. That's probably one that yeah, the robbery. And he's done a great job with uh, the Sixers team and he had a great summer. Yep. Elijah Bryant throws it up, gets it to go off glass. Tough make, tough make. That's one of those things. Great defense, and off, you have to tip your hat to the offensive player. Shyock from three. This is this is the biggest stage. Everybody's watching. Great opportunity. Guys fulfilling their dream. Obviously, with his story, Zaire, that is, getting the opportunity to kind of play basketball. Grab it. Here's Landale for three. Misses. Rebound, Shyock. I'm shocked that Bonzi Colson doesn't have a double-double yet, 10 rebounds. I would have bet one thing that he would have had at least 10 rebounds the way he attacks the paint, so. Here's Shayok for three, misses back iron. The, the defender's gonna run you off the line, get to your mid-range, which I know saying mid-range is, is a forbidden word nowadays, but. But when things get bogged down, it's yeah. a nice place to go. Yeah, or you drive and you, you do a drive and kick. This is the closest the game has been since 10 to 6 in the first quarter. Shayak, he gets mm -hmm. it to go. The check's in for Philly. Shayak, the top, throws it up, off the glass with the nifty. He moved there. He's been impressive today. Philadelphia by 13 here in the fourth. Shayak at the top of the key. He stops and pops from three. And he gets it to go. Like I said, he showed he can do it at all levels. Of the game. Oh. Also showing the ability to knock down the three. Woo. Norvell Pell rejecting Gershon Yabaselli that time. And Feibel looking to make it two for two, missing out of the corner. Feibel trade. Both guys are on the floor right now as Robert Williams does. Robert Williams has got so much potential. Uh, he needs to learn how to compete and play hard. Like this, for example, he scores it down that end for Lenova and against Virginia. And the performance he put on in those two games was incredible. Ten threes in the Virginia game. But the drive continued till that missed three. Shayok. Equip him with the right fundamentals that his natural touch will come through and he'll make more shots. But uh, obviously time will tell. For us, you need to be in world class shape. And look, he just signed a contract. I'm sure he's had so many different obligations along the way in the last month. But after the summer league, it his goal now needs to be to get healthy and to get in condition. Because George, what do you think of some of these uh, prognostications for the West now that things are starting to clear up roster wise? Kesty, I'm winning, and you know, he wasn't going to leave his opportunity to win in someone else's hands. And Georgia was interesting, uh, even reading that Kevin Durant, according to reports, was one of the guys that, you know, he was potentially recruiting to play in Los Angeles with the Clippers. Uh, I mean, think about people talking about him shutting it down last year. That guy wanted to play. He said he loved being at Duke. He loved part of the whole thing surrounding his experience in college basketball and his teammates. He's a great teammate, plays with great passion, great energy, plays hard. This is just one part of that process. Grant Williams has been very...